Hey there, in this video, we are going to uh, apply the discount and also we will use AI to modify our discount script to uh, extend the functionality. In the previous video, we registered our function and everything is working as expected on this store and the code is working uh, also as expected. So everything is fine, except uh, this discount is not doing anything. So we have to um, write the code for applying volume discount. Uh, you can see we have access to the quantity, we have access to the ID and we grab this two and we are going to apply discount if the quantity is more than two. That is the volume discount example. If you do go to the Shopify documentation where we explore here, uh, the build a product discount function has the same example. Like you can check the random.js file here and we can copy the exact same thing but this is only applying for the two quantity. Let's use the same code and I will explain how it works. I'll just copy this part, Let's just scroll and copy here. Let's come back to our code editor and we'll just replace it. You can rewrite this return here, but this might not run. So we can just remove it for now because this is the last return that will run. So here is how it works. We have a target here, which is going to filter all the products that we have. So it will go through line and it is going to go through the card line item if quantity is more than two, it is going to return those. So if a product has um, less than two quantity, it is not going to return those products. So that's fine. Here we check if we have a target. If, if you don't have a target, it is going to just run a log that we don't have a quantity and return the empty discount. Otherwise, it is going to return the actual discount. This structure is important. I mentioned this in the previous video as well you have to return the structure like this. Discount should be an array and this array should have a target. It could like, you could have different discounts, okay? For different products. Uh, this is something that Shopify did very well here. It should be an array. It, again, it should be, it can be multiple objects of different targets. For now, we have this target and the value is going to be 10%. And this one is the, the value you can also have a message for this. We will discuss the message. For now, let's just put this one and see how it works. Discount strategy, we have a dedicated video for this one and how it works with a practical example. For now, all you have to do is just put it as a first. Let's save this and see how it works. For now, uh, the function was pushed, no error. Let's go back to our um, online store. In here, I'm going to update the quantity. Now we have two volume discount from app. This is the title that is the title of the message. But the reality is this should not be this one. We want to apply a custom discount. For this example, we didn't put any, um, any message. That's why it shows like this. If I go back to the example that we have, the example app, they don't have probably in here, but where do you find this discount object and what value you can pass to this one? Again, I'll go back to the example reference that I'm, I showed you in the product discount API. In here, if I scroll down, we have the result here, function run result. In here, we have the array for the discounts. If I open this, this is what we have. We have a value, we have target, and we have a message, which is a string. So I'll come back to my code and above the target, I am going to write a message and the value of the message could be anything. I will say 10% volume discount. This could be dynamic value. For now, I'll just put it like this. I'll save it. It should be the new message if I update my card. Let's come here, increase the quantity, 10% volume discount. And this structure is how we structure it here. Cool, everything works fine here, except this is applying the discount if the quantity is more than two. Volume discount normally works if someone apply three, they will get more discount. So how do we do this? Again, this part is completely optional. These conditions are completely up to you and your function will be different. We are just working through that with the example of how volume discount works and what you are going to return. Now I'm going to use AI to modify my code and see if this is successfully doing it or not. Also, how you write the prompt. Again, I'm using Zend, Z editor. It is very fast, but if you select everything and press Control Enter, 
it will open the inline context uh, context um, editor here you will ask it to do something it is going to modify your code this is really nice and i'm going to write my prompt here to update my code i have not done this before even before uh, recording this video i haven't done this so let's see how it works this is how i normally write a prompt uh, okay here is my volume discount code for shopify store please update the code to handle more volume discounts for example if user add three products they will get 15 percent discount with updated message you should write as much details as you need to for this to to make the adjustment and also please make it easy to customize that is also important i want this to like i am imagining how it should be it should put everything in an array so i can modify the array and it should work as expected for example uh, if someone add two they will get 10 percent if someone add three they will get 15 percent uh, in the future i don't want to go to the code and update everything i want to update this in an array and it should work as expected that is my assumption but let's see how it works you run this it is going to scan your code again z is very fast it is not a sponsored or anything but this is working um working nicely here volume discount this is what i want if someone add three they will get 15 percent okay cool everything looks good that is the percentage and it opted my code uh, based on applicable discount looking nice when it is looking nice everything looks good i will just click this and we will save it it is pushing my code and uh, let's see how it works we don't have any error which is great when it has the code it is really easy for this you cannot start with a blank file of nothing there should be something written so the ai can generate uh, the code properly for you let's go back to our store here let's see for two we have 10 percent if we add three we get 15 percent cool it works as expected now if i add more than that it is not going to apply any discount let's just add this uh, uh okay how i used to uh, duplicate my file this is something new i have to learn okay cool i found it if someone add four quantity they are going to get 20 percent discount so let's see okay cool 20 percent volume discount everything works as expected i don't have to put the other zero it should work i think let's see three 15 percent four will get 20 percent discount and it is applying as expected you can see how easily we can use ai now this configuration should not be written in the code it should come from the configuration that we have here we just removed it i think yeah we removed it but i'll show you how you can store it in the meta field and then bring it back but this is how you can use ai to extend your code and make it work as expected everything is looking clean and nice and that's it i hope this video has been informative thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video